Hi everybody, I'm back at New, celebrating my birthday with my brother and family. Let's see how the buffet is this time around. New is the lavish buffet concept of the Vikings restaurant group, which differentiates itself through gourmet dishes, elegant interior design, plush seating, and live entertainment. It is located at the upscale SM Aura Premier Mall in Bonifacio Global City. Be sure to make reservations ahead of time so you will not be delayed in enjoying the nine live food and drink stations with more than 300 dishes and drinks. The nine stations are cold appetizers and salad, Japanese, beverage, Pan-Asian, Chinese, grill, carving, continental, and dessert. Starting at the beverage station, you will have a choice of alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. We focused on their white and red wines, hot sake, and imported beer to pair with our chilled seafood and cheeses. The cold station used to have big ticket items like New Zealand black mussels, slipper lobster, crabs, lumpfish caviar. But over the years, they have occasionally been removed from the buffet. Take note that they have consistently had Spanish Manchego cheese, which is made from the milk of the Manchega sheep breed and one of the most expensive cheeses in the world. The Japanese station has colorful assorted makis that may tempt your eyes, and on this visit they had salmon and uni sashimi, and their tempura is always freshly cooked. We spent a good deal of time returning to the Chinese station solely for their crabs and the steamed suahe. From their dim sum, only the shrimp dumplings stood out, but we would have preferred the wrapper to be thinner. Take note, if you are lucky, you can ask the chef for a special order of chili salt and pepper crabs. Looks like Andy's getting started on the sushi and sashimi. Oh, they got uni today. You don't usually have uni. I'm gonna come back for that. Wow, some avocado too.
Oh yes, steamed suahe, one of my favorites. Looking good. What time is the crab coming out? Anong oras yung crab? Seven onwards, okay. I'll be here, seven o'clock sharp. <laughs> Yan ang favorito ko. Hello! Carving stations at buffets are notorious for always serving dry meat as they tend to get overcooked while sitting pretty underneath 150 watt suspended heat lamps. At New, this sadly was also the case, so make sure to choose your cut of the New Zealand garlic and rosemary studded lamb leg with mint sauce and US prime rib with mushroom gravy, just so you got your bases covered. The signature dish at Vikings has always been their lechon belly or roasted pork belly and this is worth having at least two servings of as it is crispy, aromatic and just so addictive. The Continental Station has wood-fired pizzas, fresh pastas and stewed European dishes but the only thing we used to gorge on is their unlimited foie gras. Unfortunately, it wasn't part of the buffet on this visit. Hey guys, so I think this is our third or fourth year in a row to celebrate our birthday here at Vikings. They have an excellent birthday promo, uh, buy one take one, so for one paying guest on the exact day of your birthday, which is pretty cool. And starting off with some hot sake, white wine, red wine for Andy. So bro, look, what did you get? Looks like quite an assortment of appetizers. Yeah. I see Japanese, I see even some French, uh, some cheeses. Just one cheese. Oh, okay, so one kind of cheese. What cheese then? I don't know. What is it? Hard to say. You know what cheese that was? All right, what are you enjoying so far? Mm. The cheese. <laughs> yeah, but there's no manchego today. I didn't see. Oh man, they took out their big ticket cheese item, manchego cheese. Why Unbelievable. Because it it's one of the most expensive cheeses in the world. Mm. It's made from no? Spanish sheep milk. 
And what do you have over here, babe? Looks like assorted crackers. Pogra some. Pate. Okay, tell me how it tastes. Fogra pate. I seriously doubt it. But they did used to have actual pan seared foie gras before. Okay. It's not so bad. Mm -hmm. And Andy, I can't believe that you're starting off with lamb. Yeah. Pretty serious stuff. How is it? It's, it's okay. Yeah. Was it dry or was it mm. uh, still a little bit juicy? Bit. Oh, the fat part is kind of All right. It's all right. Okay, well, guys, I'm going to start off with my salmon sashimi mm -hmm. and uni sashimi. And after that, move on okay. to my steam swahe and then eventually to the mussels munyam and then at 7 p.m it's crab time i'm gonna have to be first at the buffet to get those crabs cheers, cheers. cheers. Happy, birthday, happy, birthday. happy birthday bro happy birthday. for health and all your happiness and all the income too. all right let's get this party started Mm. That is perfect. Hot sake to start off even before eating anything. Alexandra, looks like you went straight for the tempura and the hakao. Okay. How's the tempura? It tastes... Freshly cooked? Yeah. It tastes good. It tastes tasty. It tastes like, you know, maybe tastier than all the other chickens. <laughs> well, it's shrimp. I'm so starting off with the sashimi. I have salmon and uni sashimi. Salmon is buttery fresh as always, melts in your mouth. Now surprisingly, they had uni, also known as sea urchin sashimi. This is uh, first time I've seen this here at uh, New, so this is going to be quite a treat. Mm. Now that is a true delicacy. Yum. Thank you very much. Up next, one of my all-time favorite Chinese appetizers, steamed swahe. Okay, let's, oh, that is super fresh, guys. Look how easy I it is to de-shell this. Okay, this is gonna be just fantastic. And this special sauce I made with um, calamansi chili and soy sauce. Mm-hmm. Very fresh. Never been frozen, that's for sure. This really gets the appetite going. Hey, Alexander, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I already killed it for you. Oh! Wow, you're like a shark. <laughs> I told you it's good. Okay, then. I also got the mussels munier, which is cooked in a white wine sauce. And these are Chilean black mussels. Another big ticket item here at uh, New, but it wasn't always available. Sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't. So, our lucky day today. And remember, 7 o'clock, grab time. Okay, I got Vinusov Nandichon, which is a stuff. Belly. I like most skin. Let's see how crispy it is. Putting some vinegar. Mm. Wow, I can hear that crunch from all the way here. A little bit hard, but it's very flavorful. And it's nice. I think that's uh, flavored with lemongrass. You taste lemongrass? Tanglad. It's one of their signature dishes here. It's 
time for the main event. Voila! Looks like a mixed seafood. Now, I wish they used bigger crabs, but today it looks like probably 300, 400 gram crabs. But anyway, no heads. I have the claw. It's a little bit slippery. It's a slippery sucker. <laughs> This one is Alexandra. Relatively meaty. Yes. Booyah. Booyah. <laughs> Slightly overcooked, but it's fine. It's Actually, kind of expected in a buffet setup. Let me get out something. There you go. Yes. How is it, my baby? It's good. It tastes good. I like it. And um, it would be better if you taste it because it's like so good. Maybe, maybe my taste is excellent. Okay, up next it's the claw. Alexandra's favorite. Ooh, yes. This one doesn't escape from me. Right. Crab is fresh, but a little bit overcooked today. That's what I gotta say. At least uh, the meat comes out of the shell quite easily. Okay, Alexandra, you ready? For the claw, we're gonna just subtract this a little bit more. Oh my gosh! Okay, there it is. There it is. Get sucked. That's the claw, baby. How do you like it, Alexander? Oh, sorry. You have to remove a little bit of the shell. I wasn't able to reshell it so well. Well, there you have it. I guess dessert's going to be up next. I got chupche. It was even untouched. <laughs> I was first. The you de-virginized that japche. Yep. I, since I tried to cook it by myself, how much effort and time goes to this dish so I respect so much the work and I just love it. How much time and effort does it cost? Lack of time. Like up to 10 pm? Mm -hmm. How is it here? Nice, the texture and everything is authentic. It just not as much flavor if you go to Bali and this time and you will try to. Then it's a little bit dry because it's constantly heated. So sitting there too long, yeah. yeah. Squid ink, I don't know. Oh. Ooh, squid ink pasta. Scary. Mom, I'm going for exercise. I'm going for exercise. I guess that's not that's a no-no. It's stuck to each other already. Yeah. It's like coagulated blood. <laughs>
Happy birthday to me and you, bro. Happy birthday to you too. Oh. Make a wish. I did already. Oh. Make a wish, Lord. I think it's supposed to be like a shit candle. Or not. Huh? Yeah. Our birthdays just even got better. I have with me two watermelon shakes. Woohoo! It's awesome because they were only serving honeydew melon and pineapple shakes, but they had watermelons on the buffet as the dessert. So I asked them to make that into a shake for me. Yeah. Voila! Mm. That is so refreshing. Excellent to uh, cleanse the palate after a glass of white wine, which I have to refill. Cheers, guys. The dessert station is massive with local desserts, assorted cakes and pastries, fresh fruits, halo halo, frozen yogurt, crepes, chocolate fondue fountains, churros, and to top it off, artisanal ice cream and gelato. New is more than just a Vikings buffet. It is an offering to the gods, a celebration of life, appreciation for food, and a welcome addition to Manila's evolving buffet scene. It's dessert time and here at New, I always go for the same things. I always try some of their ice creams and of course their frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt is uh, sour, not too sweet. I always love their frozen yogurt here. Mm. And for the ice cream, I already finished my pistachio and cashew. Uh, I'm working on the avocado, which is super flavorful. Mm. And the ube queso, which has chunks of uh, cheese inside. Ah. Always make some room for dessert here at New. Guys, I did it again. I stuffed myself. There was sufficient goodies here that uh, I had to indulge myself. But I particularly enjoyed the uni sashimi as well as the hmm, steam swahe. I think those are the two best items today. The crab was kind of small. That was difficult to peel, very small crabs. How about you, bro? Uh, sashimi was great as usual. Salami uh, sashimi was great. That's it. Andy? Uh, yeah, the salami sashimi was great. Also, I was happy to see uni sashimi and of course the wine. Limited wine. Yeah, that's uh, a big draw over here. I still have a glass of white and a glass of red. 
How about you, Alexandra? Okay, I like the most maybe the crab because it's like, you know, so good parts. I like it. Yes, you like the claw, don't you? Yeah. How about from the desserts? Um, I like the gummy bears and the, and, um, I like gummy bears and jelly. <laughs> How about you, babe? I like gold fats, the selection of cheeses. And oh, yeah, they have the manchego cheese. Forgot about that. And brie also. And their blue cheese. So I enjoyed some cheese and gold cats with a glass of wine. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us and uh, check us out on our next episode. Hi everybody, today we are going to check out the new expansion of the Podium Mall in Artigas, completed in 2017. We haven't been back in a few years, so we are naturally excited to explore all the new restaurants and shops, and we'll do a full walking tour in the next video.